everyone, and welcome back to Lego Boy. And today, we'll be doing a full review on Big Ben Tower. We also have another YouTuber here today, Commander Turkey. Would you like to say hello? Hello, and I'm Commander Turkey. Um, you can search my channel up. It should come up. No content yet, but the content will be coming. I do a lot of Star Wars content. I'm going to do a lot of Star Wars content. Some mocks and some reviews. Very nice. I will leave a link in the description to his channel. So let's get into it. So Commander Turkey, what do you think about this Big Ben? Well, I love like the the, the pieces um, that uh, are used to make some of the details. Like, um, what are some of the pieces? For example, the the people, the little people that are in the... E that are in between each window that are used to make pillars that will look really cool and detailed. And also those pieces on top um, of um, every spiral, like those pieces, they look very like detailed and pristine, like the right, right piece to use. Yes, I think it's very nice. And I also point out another detail, that there is actually skeleton feet used to make this fence um next to the water and also um um for example the roof if you go up you can see the fence pieces that are almost used yep. to to um to basically just show as bars so to, to just like the, whoever designed this set um, did a great job at using different pieces to make different things that you want to expect. For example, the people that he used for the pillars and the way he moved those bricks um, uh, on the other side of the building. He moved the bricks, slanted them, so gave it a little bit more shape and texture. Yes. I think the designer did an amazing job. If the designer is watching this, he give you a big shout out. Is that correct, Commander Turkey? Yep. This set is one of the most amazing creator expert sets Lego's ever done. Right? Yep. And for example, what I was saying before with those, um, with those bricks, how they are slanted. And there is some features to the set. For example, you can actually move the clock. Yes, yeah, so let's show a demonstration quickly. So we can wind something in the back that moves the clock tower. So I'll show you what's in the back. Actually, I don't know if you can see it, but um, yeah, there's a little clock in the back that you can turn and it turns the top. What do you think about this? play feature that is in the set well i think the set is more of a um a display set since it's yes not me too scale. but this is great for small smaller kids who have a big imagination and they want to um they want to use these features of the set to almost role play um with this feature yes and there is also cars included in the tower bridge set that could be used on Big Ben, let me show you a demonstration. So that's a bus that was in the Tower Bridge set. Tower Bridge and Big Ben are the same scale, if anyone was wondering. This is a creator expert, is that correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. So overall, do you, what do you give this set a rating? One out of ten. I would give it a nine uh maybe a 9.2 a 9.2 i'll give it a nine and a half because there are some better sets than big ben is that correct yeah because there is... isn't really that much of an interior in big ben that's that to put my rating down yeah mine too it would be 10 if it was interior and also if big ben was minifigure scott size i mean that would be one of the most amazing sets in Lego history if Big Ben was minifigure size. It would also be huge and probably the biggest set ever. Yes, that would be bigger than the Roman Coliseum. And talking about big sets, 
Lego is coming out with a Death Star pretty soon in November, or I think so, right? Yes, I'm pretty sure, and it might be the biggest Lego set ever. Yes, it is a currently a rumor going around in the Lego community. Commander Turkey, do you think that this is going to be an official Lego set, the Death Star? Or do you think I, it's just a fake rumor going around in the Lego community? I really hope it is. And I really hope it is the biggest um, the biggest set ever. Because if you didn't know, um, Lego Star Wars has held the, the biggest set ever for a really long time until the Roman Colosseum came along. Yep, it was the Millennium Falcon, the largest Lego set. And it would be cool for um, Star Wars to ha take the lead again. Yes. Mm, Italy... And creator expert will no longer have the lead. I feel like the Millennium Falcon wasn't... I think the Ch Taj Mahal was the largest, right? No, well, in pieces, um, it was the Millennium Falcon. It was? Yeah. All right, let us know in the comments um, if you think the Millennium Falcon or the Taj Mahal is bigger. They still make the Taj Mahal, right? Yeah. Yeah. Overall, Big Ben is a great set. I do recommend it. It is retired. If anyone is looking to buy it, you should get it on Bricklink or any other resources. Is this correct? Uh, yes, it is very correct. Bricklink very would be probably the best resource. Anyway, this set is very nice. Commander Turkey loves it. I love it. And make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on The Lego Boy.